Sand King gonna go down as well here. So this is a huge team fight for Miku Makers, I think. Sand King able to blink out, but the uh, Faces Wolf will be able to... Oof, nice stun there by the Sand King. Sven coming in as well, trying to deal some damage. S um, the Faces Wolf trying to chase down the Sven now, who is trying to escape from all these heroes. And this could be tough for the Sven. Obviously, his Blink Dagger will probably be finished pretty soon. Wow, Faces Void taking loads of damage here, though. But Sven gonna go down. Blinking out. Wow, trying to escape. Leshrag in the mix as well. Dealing loads of damage to the Faceless Void. Wow, going in for the for the Sven. Takes down Sven. Henny able to take down Sven. Lina in huge trouble now as well, though. Faceless Void got no. Leshrag gonna go down and not able to take down any heroes with him. But so many low heroes at the moment. Takiru trying to chase down his opponents and a save now being demanded by uh, Levent here. Uh, Rexa trying to clear out the creeps and actually the Takiro coming in here might be able to deal some damage to this Rexa with a good uh, Ice Storm. Obviously Rexa doing a well, pretty stupid move there of trying to teleport away uh, because that um, Twin Hit Dragon is obviously going to be able to uh, well take him out with an Ice Path and taking him down there. Good use of Yules which is Yules will be upgraded to a Gwinsu in this game. Beastmaster going down, that was actually a bad move by Beastmaster, I think. I think he might have been able to just uh, run and when Ice Path was fired by the Jikiro, try to dodge that and then teleport out, something like that. I think that would have been his best move. In any case, looking to be a pretty uh, intense game so far, I have to say, guys. I mean, it's quite close now. Meteor Maker is doing a good job uh, at getting back in this game wow and this is a, a very risky move i have to say uh, by faceless void because as you can see here observer wards for uh, for versus pro and wow i mean meteor makers trying to take down russian i don't know whether uh, versus pro can do anything to stop them if they can't then this is going to be very very bad uh, arrow coming in, hitting the Viper. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no heroes to follow up and that uh, Russian is gonna go down here. And I wonder whether this is a metaphor of Meteor Makers taking down the Russians without them being able to do anything. In any case, now an Aegis on that <laughs> face is void along with a Crystalis. Not looking too good. Vigas, you have to do something crazy to save your team here. Lina trying to... Uh, farm a little bit top lane. She's picked up Boots of Travel and a dagger as well. So wow, let's let's try and count the daggers in this game. There's a dagger on Viper, there's a dagger on Rex R now, there's a dagger on Lina. So that's one, two, three, four Sand King's dagger, five Sven's dagger, um, six Leshrac's dagger. So that's six daggers out of ten heroes and on top of that Potom obviously has a three leap so that's pretty much seven daggers. Void has a three leap pretty much eight daggers so the only heroes that don't have daggers kinda are Jakiro and Tinker and Tinker obviously the hero with very bad farm in this game he's only picked up a staff of wizardry now probably trying to um, go for an Eules but it's gonna be really late 60 minutes into the game now and yeah I mean as you can see all heroes have pretty good items actually uh, just that uh, Tinker, which is doing bad, and that might be Virtus Pro's advantage that um, that this Tinker is it's almost useless at the moment. Oh, we're gonna see a team fight here, I think. A blink in from the Faceless Void. I, unfortunately, I think Leshrac was able to blink out really fast. Uh, Faceless Void now going for the Twin Head Dragon. Nice use of Yules there, but I think the Twin Head Dragon is going to go down nonetheless. Huge team fight here in the background. Uh, Leshrac able to take down Tinker really fast. And wow, uh, Sven trying to teleport out. He will be successful here. I think the Leshrac able to survive as well. Beastmaster getting chased down now. Sand King comes in with a nice stun. Faceless Void forced back. So this was a really good team fight for uh, Virtus Pro here it seems um, it seems like the hero is able to fall back for Meteor Makers though nice arrow from the bottom there and uh, Levent wow incredible blink but Sven or oh, Beastmaster gonna go down instead here Viper trying to deal some damage not gonna be a huge deal but uh, the question is whether Virtus Pro can use this opportunity to push the heroes are pretty low uh, 
no HP on Takiro, and the heroes obviously for me to make it will be able to heal up. I think there's still the ultimate on Faceless Void, who's picked up a Crystallis now as well. I think he had that in the last team fight as well, though. Going in, trying to deal some damage. Nice arrow there from the bottom. Faceless Void taking loads of damage, but fires off his ultimate right there. And Sven in huge trouble, gonna go down for sure this time. Senki comes in with an incredible ultimate. Sven actually surviving. Um, Faceless Void using his Aegis right there. Sven goes down, I think, or not. No, Sven was able to get out and uh, face his void now back in the mix and he will be able to save this tower. But I'm trying to teleport out. Ooh, is it going to be successful? I think it's going to be successful. Incredible play there by Potom. It seems like face is void trying to chase down the, the, the Jakiro and the... Necronomicon is doing a good job at denying any mana on the faces voice, so he won't be able to um, get back there. And meanwhile, the Rex's mid have gone down. So incredible team fight for Virtus Pro there. Um, really they are in a, in a good position now I have to say. I mean that faceless void is getting tougher and tougher to handle but that was just an incredible uh, two team fights. First a, a good team fight up here where Jakiro really did a, did a good job at surviving and, and he survived throughout the team fights. Then a really good team fight down here as well. Sand King coming in with a perfect ultimate able to remove the uh, Aegis on the void, able to deal loads of damage to this tower, able to um, buy time for the Rax's mid lane to go down. And, uh, and able to s escape with all the heroes alive, I think. So, really nice, um, really nicely done by uh, Virtus Pro. Meteor Maker yet again back on the defensive here. Vitality Booster now on the Viper, so I wonder whether he's trying to get up a um, heart, something like that, heart of Tresk. Um, we'll have to wait and see what he goes for. Beastmaster picking up a Hood of Defiance. And the Tinker still with pretty much nothing at the moment. And it's really interesting to see all these daggers in the game. This was obviously the reign of the daggers. Which was uh, perfectly suited for Vigas' playstyle and the Russian aggressive playstyle in general. Hyperstone now on the Swen and with that those 3.2k... Um, HP, he's definitely going to be dealing a lot of damage now. Meteor Maker trying to push back the mid lane a little bit while Henny farming down lane. Probably going to try and complete his Buritza as fast as possible, but those, that really low HP is really haunting him at the moment. It's definitely not good. Uh, he's actually got the Recipe for the Buritza and he's probably going to go by uh, yep, he's got 2.6k gold, so he's gonna go by the uh, Demon Edge as soon as possible here. And that's gonna increase his damage output quite a bit, obviously, make him pretty insane, but still no HP on that hero. He's got below 2k HP, which is definitely not good for carry hero, and HP just stacks really well on a void. Um, with his dodge. Obviously, he doesn't need uh, HP when he's perma-badging his opponent and when he's uh, trapped all his opponents in his ultimate, but that's pretty much a, uh, well, a perfect scenario and that's not really gonna happen <laughs> in a real game of Dota and hasn't really happened in any of the team fights uh, so far. Void has gone down really, really fast as soon as uh, Virtual Pro decides to focus him. So that's definitely a big problem for Meteor Makers at the moment. Arrow coming in, uh, being dodged by Meteor Makers and a uh, Sentry Ward now being placed in order to spot any Invis heroes. Obviously Potom's ultimate won't be as effective when uh, the Sentry Ward's in the mix. Tel Tinker teleporting back home now. And I think uh, Meteor Makers are going to be um, going for a uh, defensive position here in their base. Trying to uh, defend as soon as Virtus Pro pushes, obviously. Viper could be in trouble here, though. It seems like the uh, Twin Head Dragon and the Potom coming in along with the Sven. Viper able to blink back, though. It seems like Virtus Pro will be pushing mid lane now. He's Master trying to uh, hold back down lane along with the rest of his team. But the mid lane, obviously, uh, a little bit of a problem as well here for Meteor Makers. Sven actually now going top lane, so this could be interesting here, what she... Go it's actually gonna go straight backdoor a little bit here. Well, no, I suppose it isn't really backdoor when the creeps are in your base. Uh, but he's gonna be forced back back now. Sven actually... Well, what is Sven go... Wow! 
Penny able to take down some heroes here. Wow.